Wind zero two zero at zero four. Visibility one zero. Maybe not. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero three Celsius. Dew point minus zero three Celsius. Altimeter three zero five eight. November 226, November Alpha, Walla Walla Ground, runway 20, taxi via Bravo Alpha, wind 0103, altimeter 3059. So today we're off doing uh, kind of the final phase of this, which is uh, some of the single engine work. So we're going to go out and do uh, uh, some one, one engine in operative maneuvers. We're going to do some VMC demo stuff, and then we're going to do uh, some engine out on uh, takeoff. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. Ice is on, heat's on, pumps are on, fuel's on, and I do one more check to make sure I haven't forgotten to uh, inflate, and then I come across the bottom, and then I don't do anything down here, I've already done it, but it's just to come on through here and make sure that the ox hydraulic is armed, come across, see if I missed anything. Approaching runway 20. Walla Walla Tower, Aerostar 226 November Alpha is ready at 20 Alpha 1. November 226 November Alpha, Walla Walla Tower, runway 20, clear for takeoff, departure to the north approved. Clear for takeoff, departure to the north approved, 6 November Alpha. Alright, taking the runway, if anything happens, even if I hear a bump or something weird, I'm going to pull the power back and stop. Engine quits before the wheels are off the ground. I'm going to stop and stop. land. If uh, it gears up, we're going to go. but not to that extent. All right, let's make that right turn. Let's just rack it on around to the right. Have some fun. Oh, 
I got some stuff to get to whatever grease was, goes on there. Uh, oh. It wouldn't stick no matter where I put it. Okay, see fuel, fuel no, flow. No, power up first. No, right to left. Nope, pitch up so you don't go down. Pitch up a little bit. Okay, run both throttles up. Which engine's dead? Okay. Which engine is dead? For the, the right engine's dead. Okay, and then go ahead and uh, ver verify that by pulling the throttle back. All the way. It didn't change, right? Okay, you got the right one verified. Now we're gonna, now I have control of that. I'm gonna take that and put it up here. All right, so now... Speed is good. Speed's good. It's actually climbed a little bit. You don't need to go through any of that. So right now, say, okay, why did it quit? It, and there's a checklist for that. So you got time, and the airplane's flying pretty good right now, even where it's at. We're up doing 140 knots. So let's save the engine a little bit. So why don't you come on back to 35 inches of manifold pressure on the left engine. And then uh, bring the left prop back to 24. That should give you about 130. You're right at 130. That's with a windmilling prop. Totally. Because we still have that engine, in, that engine is dead. So I'm gonna bring this engine back and all I have to do is just slowly bring the mixture up. Uh, there's, that. there's zero thrust. So now you've got that, that prop feathered. Now watch what happens to your speed. So did you notice oh, yeah. that this airplane actually cleaned up, was climbing? Now we're light, obviously, but it's climbing uh, very nicely on one engine. Now, let's go to blue line. I was gonna ask you if we could. Actually. Yeah, just go to 120, that's fine. Nice and slow on the pitch up. And let's go to, uh, let's go props. Remember, when you're increasing power, the one way you do it, just take your hand and push everything up. So, mixtures, props, let's go, let's go to uh, 2500 again on that one. Oh, you want both yeah. up there. And then let's go to full on that one. This one? Yeah, the uh, the good one, not the dead one. The dead one I have control of. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. All right. Now let's I've go to let's go to 100. And, uh, I pulled up a little bit, but uh, she. That's fine. She was climbing, but the speed didn't bleed what off. What are the climb rate? I know. I'm looking at the <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. This so could be now, a single engineer brain. We're at 120 right I now. I know, yeah. So what I would do, if you were in this situation, you needed to climb, and you have all this excess, one, get away from the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, you're doing a good job staying on the heading, which is great. All right. It's 33 inches, 2400 RPM. I have control of the right. You don't touch the right. Okay. Yeah, so he'll this, go out, I could I could I could cruise all day at this. Then, yeah. Right? So actually, even coming back further on the left, I said 33. So there's 33, 24. Actually, it's about 24, 23, 50 right there. So there's 24. And you could actually come back a little bit more to save fuel, and you could go, you could lean it if you wanted as well. So that's pretty darn good, isn't it? <laughs> wow. I'm just, I, I'm just overwhelmed. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, now we're light. Now, gross weight, not going to do this, obviously. It's going to perform more like a, a loaded up uh, 601P. So next thing we're going to do is a little bit of, um, you might as well do our uh, VMC demo here. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to run you back up into into uh, climb, climb after takeoff condition, which is flaps 20. Okay. And I want you to any, hold any, anything I should be aware of. No, not with the flaps. Just put flaps 20. You're going to slow okay. down, obviously. Okay. What? And just pitch to stay at 7500. I just, I just don't want to put us in danger. So. No, you're not going to put put I us mean, in I, danger. I mean, I know you wouldn't, but I was. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't pitch up. I mean, you pitched. You let it pitch up with the flaps. So always be cognizant of that. So that just slows you down a little bit. So guess what? Here's your, here you are set up for an ILS. Level flight before you've reached um, altitude. Set your heading bug at the, your current heading. And uh, activate the autopilot in uh, altitude control hold and heading mode. 
Yep, but, and it should be, it should come up and heading. It'll stay here. Now well, you might well, keep the, of course it'll keep the wings level. I know, I, I mean the one up. Uh, no, it won't do that, but at this speed, you don't really need it. I don't, All you okay. need to do is keep a little bit of rudder. So that, that, that uh, bank into the good engine, is is really important when you're when you're slower the slower you go the more critical that is but you could cruise like this and lean the mixture out all day long and you know we're doing pretty darn good speed wise so, and the autopilot will fly the airplane for you so at gross weight what, what would i need what, what well at I gross expect? weight you're going to need more power obviously and you're probably going to be able to, to uh, stay it pretty close to this speed. Also, remember, we're at 7,500 feet. We got room to... Yeah, you, I mean, it, it's, it, it does, this airplane really performs very, very well. I'm, I'm okay. overwhelmed. Just concentrate on flying. You're concentrating on the heading. So this, this is going to be a VMC demo. I'm going to go ahead and run the uh, right engine back to windmill. And we're down to one. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to run the power up to full, and I want you to keep slowing the airplane down. Maintain an altitude. Keep slowing. Get, that, like uh, get that bank into the good engine. Get that bank in, and just kind of be nice and easy on it. Okay. Yeah, just keep slowing down. We're keep down, slowing to down. One, keep slowing down. As soon as you feel either the stall buffet or you've lost control of your roll uh, or heading, then you're going to lower the nose and reduce power. Get your hand on the throttle. Real important. Keep slowing down. Keep bringing it up. I'm full rudder. That's, you are full rudder right now? Yep. Okay. I'm barely, but you haven't lost... I haven't actually, lost control. You haven't lost control yet. So you're still holding it. And I'm climbing, actually. Yeah, so upon either loss of roll control, it's nose down, throttle back. It doesn't have to come all the way back. I keep bringing her up. Yeah, it's still, it's we're still climbing. We're at a ninety. Windmilling prop. And we're at ninety. Yeah, we haven't lost control. We haven't lost control yet. We haven't stalled yet. A little bit more rudder. A little bit of bank into that good engine. Okay. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, keep bringing it up. I'm keep bringing it up. Starting to feel the buffet, just barely. Uh, it's just barely. Right there. I'm at right at red line. Okay. Go ahead and just relax the back pressure. Bring the power back. Okay, there you go. Recover. Just and let's just let the speed build up. You can start increasing the power again. Because once you're once you've uh, got control, you can bring the power back in. And then so start leveling. Or? Yeah, I want you to level off. So bring it back in. So we climbed. This thing is just performing really well. Okay, I'm gonna go back to uh, zero thrust on the right engine. I want you to level off to 7,500. Okay. And then um, adjust power on your on your left. Come on back to. Uh, 33 inches be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what I want you to do now is uh, set yourself up as if you are going to go do a uh, precision approach. So you're going, so you're slowing yourself down. Power settings are fine. You can go to 23 if you want, but let's get the flaps in and get yourself all trimmed out and stay at 7,500. Okay. We are going to intercept the glide slope. So this is going to be simulated up here at this altitude. So when that happens, what do you do? Gear down. Okay, gear down. Put it down. Oh, we're simulating it now. Got yeah. it. Okay, then the mixtures go forward. Props go forward. All the way. Manifold pressure, actually the manifold pressure uh, came down to 20. Let's bring it down to uh, 17. 17, 16. Okay. That's Set up a 500 foot per minute rate of descent. Okay, we got three in the green. Let's put the boost pumps on. Go into the boost pumps. Okay. All right, we're going to go down to 5,500. Let's just stay right here. And execute uh, this the flight. Yeah, and we're going to execute the miss. So now the speeds are kind of where I want them to be. The main thing is missed approach. What's the first thing that's going to happen? Everything's already forward, just yeah. double check, but it's throttles forward. Yeah, your hand's check. going to be on the throttle right now. And anyway, pitch. so that's what's going to happen. So 6,500, you're going to power up, pitch up. Or 5,500. Yep, and then uh, make sure, make it, there you go. Pitch up to 120. You're up. Once you're at 120, pitch up some more. 
My God, she's climbing. Yeah. Get okay, we're corner. We're at 120. Gears going up. Flaps up. And flaps are up. Okay, transition. Okay, power's all the way up. Identify. Verify. Verify. We're at right there. Okay, watch your ready to descent. You can, you can stay right there. Okay, which engine is it? Uh, right leg. Pull the throttle, right. back, pull that throttle back to verify. verify. Okay, all the way back. Okay, go push it forward out of that. All right, which one's dead? Right one's dead. Okay, pull the uh, prop back an inch. The left one? The, uh, one that, the, the dead one. Oh, the dead one. You would have feathered the good engine there. Oh, I'm in the feather. Okay, yeah, I see yeah, what, yeah, you, I see yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, leading yeah, up. Yeah, yes, okay. yes, feather. Look yeah. at this. We got a windmilling propeller. We're doing a little bit under, but still well above. Okay, now I'm going to give you zero thrust. This is which simulates feather. Yep. Okay, there's zero oh. thrust. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Yep. You lost a little bit of altitude, but if you were a couple hundred feet or hundred feet off the ground, you would have made it. And you still see we're, we are climbing. Mooney 1073, uniform squawk 4622, departure frequency snug 133.15. Okay, speed's looking good now. Everything's, great. everything's looking good. Yeah, great. I'm glad you did that. Okay, there you go. You're there. Just pull the power back a little bit and slow yourself on up. You're looking for uh, about 105 yeah, here. Seven, three, nine, wall, wall, Take yours down and check. Three, don't worry, don't worry about it being long. Don't pitch up so much. Actually bring the power back, it'll grease it on. Too much pitch up. End of the runway is coming up, so. Air Star 226 North Alpha, turn left one AWOL, taxi park via Alpha, remain in the street for two. 26 South, uh, or November Alpha will turn left here at Alpha 5 and remain this frequency and taxi into Gorge. Air Star 6 North Alpha, Roger, taxi Gorge via Alpha Bravo. And via Alpha Bravo to Gorge, uh, 6 North Alpha. Air Star 2 Tango Echo after completion of the option left closed, traffic approved.